Hey everyone! This week I'm going to do two Nicolas Cage movie reviews because I haven't done them for the past three movies we watched. Um, the movie we watched right after spring break was Honeymoon in Las Vegas and I that was the first movie that the club watched that I actually own on DVD so um we didn't end up finishing it because I was worried I was going to be late for something but I was really like an hour early but that's fine I'll review that in the summer probably after I watch it again um but the week after that we watched a movie called Amos and Andrew and Amos is Nicolas Cage's character Andrew is Samuel L. Jackson's character and basically the movie is Andrew moves to an island and it's a predominantly white neighborhood and um, the only people that live there are people that, like, it's seasonal, so people have, like, summer homes there. And so, this couple are neighbors. They live, like, a block away, but, like, no one else lives between them. So they are neighbors, but they live pretty far away from each other. Anyways, Andrew's new neighbors are walking, out walking their dog and they see Andrew in his new house and they're like oh my gosh he's robbing the couple that lives there and so they call the police and the police show up and um, the, the it's a whole miscommunication thing and halfway through the police officer realizes what happened so he goes to the prison or it's not a prison but like almost is in a cell Nicolas Cage and um he gets Nicolas Cage out and says okay you're holding Andrew hostage and basically like plants a um Criminal. If Luke was here, he could tell me the word I was looking for. He plants a convict. I don't know what to say. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Anyways, he plants Nicolas Cage in there, and Nicolas Cage holds him hostage. And then the police officer originally said, Hey, look, um, we'll get you out apologize to Andrew, say, oh, we're so sorry this happened to you, welcome to the island. And then the police officer was going to let Nicolas Cage go to Canada. But all this press showed up, and so change of plans, and then Andrew and Amos have to team up together because the police officer wants both of them dead. Um, it was... It came out 93, which was a year before Pulp Fiction, and um, it was a good movie. I'd give it... Oh, isn't she wonderful? I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Um, it had racial issues, which a Nicolas Cage movie thus far hasn't had if I remember correctly. Also, I think this... Hmm. Peggy Sue Got Married didn't have a sex scene, but... Hmm. Hmm. There's absolutely no nudity in this movie. No romance. No anything and that's kind of strange because that has never happened before in a Nicolas Cage movie. I don't even think there was 
any kissing. Um, there's a point where he orders a pizza and the pizza delivery girl is 17. And the reason why almost Nicolas Cage was in a uh, jail was because um, he was he stole a car. He was dating a girl who was 17, but he didn't know she was 17. He thought she was 18. And then she was like, here, take my dad's car and run. And so he was trying to drive to Canada, but he's really bad with directions. So he ended up going on this island. And um, it's funny. Um, I liked it. It was also... Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off came out, I think, the year before. I'm gonna look it up. Okay, Ferris Bueller's Day Off came out in 86, and this came out 93. Um, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off kind of introduced the after the credits clips, and this movie had one. Um, Sadly, the the place that I was watching the movie on, um, which I cannot tell you, was did not include the after the credits clip. But IMDb every so before every movie, I look up trivia and like send an email out to all the members of the club with the trivia in it, and. Um, one of the trivia was about the after the credit scene, which was the police officer getting chased by dogs. But it's a good movie. Did I already rate it? I think I ten, seven out of ten. Yeah. Um, I do think that um, the morals of this movie were very important. I mean, I know, like, 1993, that doesn't seem very long ago for some people. I wasn't even born yet, um, but it still doesn't seem that far in the past. But it was definitely a stepping stone, I guess you might say. I don't know. Samuel L. Jackson is such a well-known actor now. I don't know when he debuted, but I like to think that him and Nicolas Cage, like, helped racism. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Oh, anyways, the movie was a 7 out of 10. It was really good. I think that it's an important movie because it teaches an audience that don't judge a book by its cover. Andrew was not breaking into someone's house. That was his house. Duh! Yeah. <sighs> Nicholas Cage. He did have a really weird haircut. I think it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse from now on. Like this movie, his haircut was pretty bad. In the in the movie that we, I just watched today, his haircut was like almost a mullet, but like like a bowl haircut. But if it's like one of those big like I don't even know how to say that. Like a bread boat bowl? Like if you put that on his head? I don't know. Anyways, that's the end of this review. And I'll see you in a second. But you might not watch my next video. So that's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need an outro and an intro. So maybe I'll work on that. Bye! <laughs>